Jingle bells, jingle bells. Now, ain't we a fine example of three full grown hombres? Look at all them pretty doodads in that store window, he said. Yeah, plum cleaned out that whole store we did. Just showing off to make an impression on that pretty looking sales gap. Well, partner, here's us a toting all this stuff. Now, who do we know to give presents to, anyhow? Oh, shoot, I never took no heed of that pretty girl that sold us these things. All I know was that something inside of me made me feel all fine and warm-like to be doing it, to be buying presents to give to somebody. And I knew it was the right thing to do, and I was contented. Hey, look. You know what I just seen? What? Dang if I can see anything. Why, it was right over that. There it is again. Just look at that star. You ever did see a star as big and bright as that? It's a low. Let's mosey over and see what it's doing there. Believe him like a big fool. Doggone a thing. Well, nobody can trust nobody no more. Hey, who's that? Evening. That's some sign you've got there. Yeah, that's what I think is some sign. So I'm gonna buy him a second hand from all the moving the picture place. Star Picture Palace. All day I'm a working to put him up, but he don't stay light. Well, that's some more better. Yeah, I think he's all right now. Yeah, he's a finish. Oh, he's a pretty good. Yeah, so big. Hey, people are going to see him for 20 miles. Everybody going to come to Nick's place. Star Auto Court. Spend lots of money. He's a pretty cold upstairs. Yeah, pretty cold standing out there on the road, too, this time yeah. of night. Especially when you're hitchhiking. Hey, you want something here? Well, I'm half froze to death standing out there trying to get a lift. Thought maybe I might step inside and warm up a bit. Maybe you could spare a hot cup of coffee? It's an old flapper joint. I don't have no business for the free lunch. Oh. Well, I thought tonight everybody would want to show a little goodwill. Goodwill? What do you talk of goodwill? Is there no such a thing? You see how the sign? It costs me plenty of money, even a second hand of cash. I can't buy them with a goodwill. I can't buy nothing with a goodwill, you see? Okay, mister. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, uh-huh. Is no Merry Christmas for me. I may be only fell in the whole world who don't like it. I hate the Christmas. What's the matter with it? What's the matter with it? All year, everybody is a stingy, is a mean, a squeeze the money. All of a sudden, it's a come a Christmas. Everybody's a smile. I got a false face. Not a nick. I'm no phony. Why everybody's got to change it just because it's a Christmas, huh? Because we can't get away from it. Because the true meaning of Christmas is peace and brotherhood and love. Seems to me that's the remedy for all the world's trouble. Oh, it does, huh? Well, I'm going to... Hey, you, Nick. I've asked you all afternoon, ever since that shindig started in the next cabin of mine, to tell those people to keep quiet, singing and all. I'm getting up at five in the morning, and I've got to get some sleep. You understand? My dear woman, excuse me, but I'm a don't hear no singing. Of course you don't. They're just getting their second wind. And you don't have all their junk tossed out of the window right in front of your cabin either. So here's a sample of it, and see how you like it. <laughs> oh, he's all over the closet. That's what I'm talking about, the peace, the brotherhood, the love. He's a lot of baloney. Rosa! Rosa! Rosa, go see where that... that the woman is a do all the time as she's a making a trouble for me. Oh, Nicky, please, take it easy. There's no good for you excitement. People is people, Nicky. What's, uh, what's this? It's nothing. It's just some shirts that belong to Mr. Dilson. What's the matter? Something is wrong? What do you think? Look, every one of these shirts cost me five bucks new. Five dollars, and this is the first time they've been to the laundry. Is that the way to get them back? So, so what's the matter with them? Oh, I suppose you can't see what's the matter with them. Is that the way to iron the collar of a good shirt like that? 
And I suppose you can give me an argument about this one. Plain, deliberately ripped right here. An expensive, practically brand new shirt. First time in the laundry. So what am I supposed to do about it? He's not to my laundry. He's an agency here. They pick him up, but they bring him back. I got to nothing to do about it. Everything is going to be nice and fixed up, Mr. Dilson. We send them back and do them over, yes? Well, you better tell them those are expensive shirts. And I want an adjustment for the one that's ripped. Maybe if you did business with a better laundry. Oh, you might not get as much commission, but you'd have more satisfied customers. Well, uh, Mr. Merry Christmas, I guess that's a, some more of the brotherhood, the peace, the love business, huh? Mr. Yes? I'd like a cabin for my wife and myself. You got one not too close to the road? No, he's a pretty full up tonight. I only got one cabin left. Okay. Yeah, sign it here, please. Better make sure about the hot water, dear. Remember how you couldn't shave at that place we stopped at? Yeah, how about that? Plenty of hot water? All the time, don't worry. I'm a donut chip for nobody. And the cabins is nice and warm. That's another thing. These places are never warm. We'll want some extra blankets. Ah, oh, no, lady. Cabins is nice and warm here. Got anything? Each you better got a fine blanket. There's never no complaints about that. Well, just give us a couple of extra blankets. I'm telling you, cabins is nice and comfortable. Look, Mrs. If everybody's like you, I'm gonna need a million of blankets. That's why he's absolutely fine a blanket in each cabin. Nobody needs the extra one. I got a fine idea for you. My own blankets. They just come back from the laundry. There. Come, please. I take good care of you. You see, you have to insist on what you want in a place like this. That's right, my dear. That's a piece of brotherhood of love. Shame on you for being such a fool. You're wrong, Nick. You only believe what you see. But what does that prove? Nobody sees the stars in the daytime. But that's no sign they aren't there. Everybody's been rubbing you the wrong way, that's all. Say, I've been running up against all kinds. Bad ones and good ones. And the good ones make a man forget all the others. That's a nice talk. But it don't approve of nothing. Me, I'm a know what I know, I tell you. Every day I'm gonna see all the kinds of people. Selfish, mean. Sure, I'm see the people is just smile and behave nice. Do you know why? It's to take something out of you. They only been good for their own benefit, believe me. You're trying to tell me that people don't have any fine feelings? Nick, you know better than that. Just think how empty the world would be if there were no women like Rosa in it. No good in people. Why, the goodness that people have in them will still be warming the heart of the world a thousand years from now, Nick. 10,000 years from now. And on this night, people have songs in their hearts and renew their patience and courage for what may come. That's the real meaning of Christmas. They're singing again. Nice, no? That Miss Roberts, she's not gonna like it that I like. Can we come in, please? Yes, come. It's a boy and a girl. She looks sick. Maybe you would like a little drink of water? Make you feel better, yes? Yeah? I'm Jose Santos. Maria, she's my wife. From far away, we, we see your star. I didn't think we could make it. I was sure the car was going to break down and we freeze to death in the desert. Everything is going to be all right now. We'll get a cabin. You can rest. It's in our room, all full up. But I have some money, if that's what... But, Nicky, this is the only place for so many miles. It's only a desert where they can go. What I can do? It's my fault. Maybe there's no more cabins left, huh? They want to come in and sit by the fire, rest and get a warm. It's okay with me. She's need more than rest, Nicky. 
She's need a little sleep, too. Okay, so she needs the sleep. What am I supposed to do, woman? Kick somebody out? Don't you understand? He's in no more place. There is a place, Nikki. There is a place, Nikki. Where? Upstairs, under the ceiling? <laughs> no. Why we couldn't let them use the little shed? It's not very fancy. Just a little barn. Oh, any place. Any place. Oh, fine. Then you can sleep. It's a nice little place with lots of hay and it smells so good. So you want to put them into the shed, huh? Sure. I fix them up fine. Come. I show you. You got anything decent to eat? Sure is decent. Well, what do you got? I'm hungry. Everybody thinks my Nicky is a tough guy. <laughs> Life would make him like that. You know, a long time ago, I was in town and a horse fell down and hurt his leg. And I see a man cry because he's so sorry for the horse. And I ask, what is that man's name? And they say, Nick Catapulli. So I go home and, and I write on a piece of paper, Rosa Catapulli. And I like it. So I marry him. <laughs> it's, it's not so good as a cabin, maybe, but I fix you up nice and comfortable. Everything's gonna be fine. Sure. It's gonna be nice and soft. You go tell Nikki I say to warm up a little milk and find some blankets, eh? I come in right away. Not bad, isn't it, honey? Mm. A little wine, this would seem like a regular Christmas dinner, wouldn't it? Something? Yes, your wife say to find some blankets and... Blankets? So where am I going to find the blankets? Is there no more blankets? Maybe I'm supposed to have a department store here, huh? Nikki! Poor Nikki! What's the matter, Ross? You miss it, please. No, really? Oh, the poor kid. And what's going on here, anyways? What are we going to do? Is there a doctor? No, no doctor. You help me, yes? Well, yes, anything I can do, you'll have to tell me. Hmm. Nick, lots of pans. Fill them up with water. You please make a big fire in the stove right away. Lots of clean towels. You find them in there. Maria. It's Maria. She's going to be all right. You stay right here, eh? Nicky. A cup of hot coffee for him, eh? Please. You make talk with him and keep him here, see? What? <laughs> well, well. Well, here, you sit right here, my boy, and take it easy. Everything's going to be all right. I help you. Mm, fine, a thing. Tell everybody everything, I mean nothing. I'm just a nobody around this place. Ah, uh, Nicky. Nicky. Okay, come, we go. They're singing again. Are you or are you not going to tell them to stop and let me get some sleep? Hey, what's all this? Oh, is that so? Well, say, can't I do something? But, Miss Roberts, you've got to get up at 5 o'clock. Don't you got to get some sleep? Nonsense. Wouldn't I be a great one to go to sleep when I could be helping out? Let's go. Oh, dear. Run over to our cabin and get those extra blankets, will you? We'll just do without them. All right, dear. I'll be right back, son. I'll get you a cup of coffee.
can see it. In there. Hey. Got any pipe tobacco? Uh, what kind you want? Hot water, quick. Excuse me, please. Let me get the blanket, please. Hey, what's the matter with everybody? Hopping around like a... No fooling. Better make it cigars, then. Give me a couple. Yeah, he's still for a quarter. How do you like that? I'm buying cigars instead of him. Congratulations. Here, you have one on me. Thank you. Gotta have more stuff for bandages. There's no more clean sheets left. Hand me those things up there, will you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what? Skip it. These make the best bandages in the world. See? Here. Well, why not? Look at all you're doing. Hey, you know something? I guess I had you figured all wrong. You're not such a bad guy after all. It's nothing. I don't do too much. Howdy, folks. That's some star you got out there, partner. Lights up half the county. Yeah, we was riding along out on the desert when we see that third star. Followed it for 10 miles. More than that, even. Howdy, ma'am. What was that? Well, it sounds like a... Nicky. He's a little boy. Oh, George, <laughs> that's great, my boy. How's it feel with your father? A little bambino, he's pretty good, huh? <laughs> Can I go to her? Can I see my Maria, please? Yes, sure. You go see them both. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, wait, everybody. Are we going to celebrate? I got a special surprise. Everybody is gonna have a little drink. Oh, Dino! Hey, I was just thinking. All this stuff we bought. When we was in town, we bought a lot of things. Do you think maybe the baby'd like to have them? Oh, oh, sure. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, everybody. We're gonna see the baby. Salute! I've never seen a new baby. Did you ever see a new baby? Why, of course, sure. A lot of times. <laughs> Thanks for letting me stay a while, Nick. And for the coffee. No, it's okay. Forget it. Well, I'll be getting along now. But I gotta fix you something to eat. Thanks, but I've gotta be going. Oh, wait. Well, you're gonna be called a better police on. He's old. He never fit me too good. I'm gonna throw him away anyhow. Uh huh. He's pretty good. Thanks, Nick. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nick. 